Hi everyone! It's me, Mai Mai, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video guys, ang ibabahagi po natin is paano gumawa ng isang easy, cheesy mamon. Yes, napaka-simple lang recipe na ito. Very simple, very mura, napaka-mura ng ingredients. Pero, kailangan lang matama natin ang proseso kung paano natin ma-perfect ang isang mamon. Kailangan lang masunod ang tamang pag-mix, tamang preparation, tamang materials na gagamitin, at tamang pag-beat ng ating egg whites. So, kung masunod po natin yung lahat, of course, magkukuha natin ng, ang isang perfect, easy, cheesy mamon. So, ito po ang ating easy, cheesy mamon. Okay? So, napakasarap. Napakasimple yung recipe nga, sabi ko nga. Pero, kailangan lang natin maitamang lahat to achieve this perfect mamon. Yes. If you love this video and you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit like. And pag hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa ating channel, please do so. Hit that subscribe button. Para ma-update naman po kayo sa ating mga new uploads, hit that bell icon. Okay? Para ma-notify po kayo. Okay, so magsimula na po tayo how to make this easy, cheesy mamon. Ang ating kakailanganin sa ating cake butter, of course, ang ating bowl, malinis, should be dry. Ang ating cake flour, this is one cup. Ang ating sugar, one fourth cup sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, one fourth cup vegetable oil, four egg yolks at room temp. This is one half cup milk, diluted, meaning there's water and milk. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. First, gagawin natin, we need to sift our cake flour. Okay, to make it more lighter and softer, our cake butter, I will sieve it twice. Our one teaspoon of baking powder. Yes. Then we will add our sugar all together. So we need to whisk this to combine everything. Okay? Just a quick whisk lang. Then that's okay. Gagawa po tayo ng buta sa kitna, just like a well. Then ilalagay natin dito ang ating mga wet ingredients. Una, I will put the diluted milk in the center. Then our egg yolks. Okay. Then I will just add in our vanilla. There. So yung oil, later ko yan ilalagay. So una, you have to mix in the center. Whisk lang. Mix lang sa center. Mix hanggang mag-incorporate lahat. Okay? Then, I will add oil. Mix. Haluin lang lahat hanggang sa makita nyo mag-dissolve na yung oil sa ating mixture at mag-incorporate lahat yung mga ingredients. Spatula, scraper, to continue mixing this one. Para hindi naman mag-overmix, so papalitan natin ng spatula. So this is almost done. Madali lang ang pag-mix ito guys. Huwag natin tatagalan para hindi po tayo mag-create ng bubbles. Okay? So, that's it. So, this is fine. And now, we will prepare our meringue. Okay, we will start guys to mix our meringue. So, we will start at one speed. Then, we will increase later hanggang three 
speed only or medium speed hanggang maabot natin yung stiff peak. Okay? At this point, i-add na natin yung sugar gradually po. Okay, so at this point, yan, very soft pa yan. That is soft peak. So what we aim is stiff peak. So we will maintain our speed at 3 speed or medium speed on the until stiff peak, guys. Okay? So, this is ready guys. So, this is what I am aiming for. Ito po yung gusto natin ma-achieve, yung stiff peak. So, this is ready. Yan. So, now, okay na yung ating cake batter and our meringue. Then, magkukombine na po tayo. Okay? So, kukuha muna to tayo ng spoon small part dito sa ating mirang i-add in natin dito para ma-introduce muna sila sa isa't isa so do not add immediately lahat huwag para maiwasan po yung pagde-deflate ng ating mixture so just fold it don't use whisk pag nagbimix tayo ng ganitong very um, delicate na cake Cut and fold lang yung method na gagawin sa pagmix dito sa ating mamon. Ating cheesy mamon. Okay, then we will add another one. Okay. Then we will add the remaining then we will add the remaining meringue busin na natin okay just cut fold, cut and fold lang so mix until well incorporated lahat at makita nyo wala na talagang white Wala nang matitirang mirang. So, nag-combine na talaga yung ating batter at saka yung mirang. Then, that's ready to bake. So, you can see it's so beautiful. Just like that. So, okay. We have our a molder. This is for ginagamit tong torta na molder. So, gagamitin natin to para sa ating cheesy mamon. Okay, so maglalagay na tayo ng ating batter.
meron pa tayong extra. So, marami pa yan. Probably, this can make another six batch. Six na molder or ganitong anim na piraso. So, guys, so we are back. Ito na po yung ating soft mamon. Napalamig na po natin. So, lalagyan na po natin ng melted butter. At titikman po natin kung gaano ito kasarap. Diba? Napaka-simpleng recipe pero napaka-sarap. So, ito ay melted butter. Yan. So, madaming butter ang nilagay ko para lalong sumarap. Kung ayaw nyo ng melted butter, pwede rin naman softened butter. Pinalambot lang. Then, i-grate natin siya ng cheese. O, diba? Cheesy mamon. Or, if you don't like cheese, pwede nyo uh, lagyan ng powdered sugar. So, it's up to you how you will prepare your mamon. Meron butter, tapos linalagyan natin ng granulated sugar, then lagyan ng cheese, or mamon with butter and powdered sugar, or simply no butter, only powdered sugar, or walang garnish, mamon lang. O, ba? Diba? So, depende po sa mga gusto natin. There you go. Cheesy. So, tingnan nyo ang ating cheesy mamon. So, it's napakasarap. So, well taste na. Titikman natin siya, guys. Kung gaano ito kasarap. Tikiman time. Oh, lambot. Very soft. Ayan. Tingnan nyo. Super lambot. Oh my God. Okay. Wow, look at that. Tikman natin. Hmm. Wow. Lumidilit sa ngala-ngala. Sa sobrang soft and moist ng ating mamon. Nagme-melt lang siya sa mouth. Dumidikit sa ating mouth. Ganon siya ka-soft and moist. So, ayan. So, yummy guys. Lalong nagpapasarap dahil merong cheese at melted butter. Masarap to snacks guys. Um, partner with super lamig na Coca-Cola. Mmm! Mmm! Sarap! Again guys, ang sarap. Hope you learned something from this video. So you you try this one, you can make this for your for snacks, para sa mga kids nyo, pamangkin, all, para sa pamilya nyo. For business naman, pwede pwede. Diba? You can balut this individually um, using a cling wrap or bili kayo ng plastic wrap. Ibalot nyo individually then Depende kung paano nyo ibebenta. I will put costing at the description box for this. Okay? Kung magkano yung gastos at kung how much ang pwede natin ibenta ang bawat isa. Okay? So, I'll put at the description box. So, thank you guys. Hope to see you again next time. Not hope, but I will see you again next time. Okay? Don't forget to like. And subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel yet. Okay, so keep safe guys and God bless. Bye for now. Bye.